guys we're in the first week of the new semester happy new year to everyone um so i just wanted to i just came got home and today is wednesday and i feel like this week has been long and full but i want to talk about the fact that i just dropped a class and just adding and dropping classes and de deciding on your schedule like i honestly had i swapped it for partnership tax and like what led me to that was because i was in my secure transaction course and i was falling asleep and i wasn't really enjoying like what the course was really about so i decided to drop and i know a lot of people are still filling out their classes and sometimes you don't know whether or not to drop your classes the class that you you don't you you think you need to take or you might be interested in and then it didn't meet your expectation and I really had to like talk to a lot of people to finally come to terms with the fact that I didn't want to be in that class like it didn't help that my class was at night like it was in the evening time I mean at the end of the day now my schedule is kind of set and I don't think I'm gonna be dropping any more classes I'm taking um, secure not secure transaction Ooh, no I missed that um, at first I was taking it because it was on the bar and I thought that this would be a good course to take because I've heard it's difficult. But now I'm just like, you know what, I'd rather be alert when I'm taking the class and pass than be sleepy throughout because it's given in the evening time and fall asleep. Um, so, but now my, that my schedule is set, I'm taking um, partnership tax, legal drafting, legal drafting, e-discovery, um, evidence and ev there's one more and trust in estates and I love my schedule I can be done with majority of my classes by Thursday afternoon ish um, so but I don't want to know how everybody else's semester is going my semester has started and I felt bombarded with work already but the thing is I'm not sweating it Yeah. <laughs> hey y'all, so guess where Dumb and I are? We're in Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know why I have my gloves on, but it's pretty cold. It's and not that cold. We're waiting for our uh, Lyft. We don't do Uber anymore because yeah, Lyft for. actually gives us discount. Yeah, 10%, but you know. Yeah. We gotta yeah. take what we got. <laughs> Anywho, we're here for competition. Dom is doing the moot court oh, I'm here competition. For competition. Dominique Dodson, could you explain the situation that's happening to you right now? So, unfortunately, Yolen's plane, um, Yolen's flight, unfortunately, was delayed like five or six times. So she will not be here until the afternoon session. So I, Dominique Tyler Dodson, in my own capacity, have to argue both her side and my side. She has to talk for 30 minutes, just arguing her side and Yolen's side. So I feel like I'm actually going to the Supreme Court now because that's legitimately how long they are. Yes. I mean, see, there's a blessing in this. Oh Lord, somebody. And she can talk. Somebody so. take the will. <laughs> Where's Beyonce? I need her. <laughs> so y'all, let me just give you a brief um, update about what happened. So I'm a coach for Dominique and Yolen on this trip. And so like, um, they were short on coaches, and and then I basically volunteered to be a coach, and I was Ridiculous. worried. Of, I know, I know. Ridiculous. And then I'm like, Dominique, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I ended up um, sitting on as a coach, and and I judged around, and it was really nice. Like, I really liked the interaction, the back and forth. Moot court is definitely like a thing of mine now. Like, I wish I made it to the moot court team, but both of them to both the team moot court next year. You it's actually it. you not it bad and like if you're on the plaintiff side you, you can get to rebut like really you get a rebuttal yeah we're i think we are we're like we're saving two minutes of rebuttal for our side mm -hmm. that I'm so gonna be, someone i'm going to be talking for 28 minutes 
then I have a break. And she has a break. Wow. And that 30 minutes goes minutes. by. minutes. It's gonna, it's gonna fly by. It's it not. really is. It's really not. It really is. She hasn't gone in, but I, I sat in for a round, and I really enjoyed it. They were, they were, they were good teams. They were good teams. Okay, Hillary. <laughs> look at look at these champions. They just finished a round of competition and they're waiting to find out if they make it to the next round. And I'm here just relaxing. Um, I'm actually hungry, but I'm just here. Like a legitimate like train, um, train like a metro. Uh. Look at look at this semi finalist. Oh my gosh! Let me tell you guys about my friends. They're oh so my. amazing. Yeah. I've watched them blossom into this advocate. Well, both of them are advocates, but I've watched them blossom. Like, okay, so she, she, oh my she, God. Got okay, called, she got called. She got called a. A bulldog. No, one, a pit bull. A pit bull. Why do I keep saying bulldog? Because I'm dumb. Um, she got called a pit bull by one of the yeah. judges, and then Yolin got called what? Because Yolin's just very soft spoken outside. She's and very yeah, she's just very soft spoken, and they're like, oh, they compliment each other. Good cop, bad cop. And you can guess who who the bad cop they is. Poised, and they said, excellent, excellent, excellent. Yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And um, that school that you guys went against was Emory. They went against Emory. And they, I think they crushed it. I don't, they don't believe they crushed it, but we're waiting to find out if they are the finalists or if they have to compete for the third place position. Either way, they have a great chance of going to Balsa, the national for Balsa and represent the UF, UF chapter. So, I mean, I don't know why they're not excited, but let because me have to figure it out. Okay, let me tell you why they're not excited. This, my girl's got a hot bench. Like might I add, I am their coach, assistant coach for, for the meantime, but here I'm the coach. Um, so they got a hot bench. Like when I'm telling you questions after questions, my dogs just said their, their like what, what their issue was and what they were arguing today and immediately judges are asking them questions. Like, hello, 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 hello. Like they were throwing questions after question on them and look at what they were doing. They were like swatting it, yes, answering it back and forth and I was so proud of them. And then I, I like, when they were talking, I almost got out of my seat, I was like, I saw it. I was like, okay, I need you, I need you, Yolin, to answer this question right because it's a tough one. I almost got out of my seat and then Dominique started yawning. I said, no, Dominique, I don't yawn. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. No, 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 I still didn't want it. No. Except for nodding. I'm like, okay. I was like, I'm sleeping. I'm not Yeah, I was like, I no, Dominique, don't I'm yawn. Nodding. Yeah, she was like, hmm. I was like, I was like Yo, and there was a point in time where I actually was asleep. Oh no. I'm you so you sorry. slept through? There was one 